What's going on everybody? Prophecy with back at it again with yet another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a voiceless voice combo, my favorite combo in the deck. Um, there's about 10 to 12 different ways you can do this combo and I will explain them. But uh, it's a combo that I feel like most, if, um, if not anybody outside of the people who watch my streams, knows. Speaking of my streams, I've been streaming 7 days a week for about six or seven weeks every single day. So check me out on Twitch at uh, ProphecyWiz underscore. Um, I stream every day playing a uh, dueling book, talking about the game, all that good stuff. And if you like this video and videos like this, please be sure to like and subscribe as well as uh, drop a comment below on uh, what you think about the combos, what kind of videos you'd like to see next. Um, I've been cooking for a couple weeks. Um, on the side, I've been playing a pure Centurion deck and I think it's broken. I think it's ins absolutely insane. So if you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So for the uh, the video here, I have... The only thing you really need for the combo is Diviner. And then there are... Uh, these two cards can be replaceable with like a bunch of different things. Like Low could be either Barrier or Pre-Prep. So you could do this with like Pre-Prep Sephira Diviner or Low Barrier Diviner or... Um, Sephira Barrier Diviner, etc. Like there, I believe there's 12 combinations of cards that you can do this combo with. Um, I'm just gonna run down the one, but any of them are super simple um, to do the replacement with. So, in a combo like this, what you're gonna want to do is start with Sephira. Sephira is gonna dump the ritual spell and search for a copy of Skull Guardian. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the effect of Sephira in the graveyard. We're going to send the low from hand. We're going to special summon Skull Guardian. We're going to go chain link one low, chain link two Skull Guardian. Make sure you guys always chain it that way. We're going to go ahead and grab Cerebus from the Skull Guardian. We're going to summon back low. We're going to low effect. And this plays really, really well into a multitude of different hand traps. Like you can get double hand trapped in this combo and still do like a mass majority of it. So that's one of the really cool things about this hand. Uh, this. If you have any questions about those, uh, drop it down in the comments below. So the low is going to go ahead and grab barrier. Barrier is going to go ahead and grab blessings. We're going to go ahead and activate the blessings. We're going to go ahead and know some of the diviner and we're going to go chain link one blessings, chain link two diviner. We're going to dump the Trias with the Diviner, and then we're going to Tribute the Diviner since he is um, now a level 9. Summon the Cerebus. We're going to trigger the Diviner. And we are going to go ahead and summon another copy of Low from the deck. We're going to activate Blessings. We're going to add back the um, Sephira. And then... Now, what I feel like is really, really strong and kind of crazy about this combo is that it plays, it not only can play through hand traps really well, but additionally, you get on your opponent's turn. So this is five interruptions. So you have Skull Guardian is one Omni Negate. Then you have an Inherent Summon Negate with the Cerebus. The Trias in the Graveyard is going to be a quick effect. So you can untargeting pop any card your opponent controls on their turn during the main phase. So that's going to be three interruptions. So once you negate with this, um, you can use this, send the two lows, summon this, untargetably pop a card, trigger the blessings, use this as a full tribute, summon back the Cerevis again, and then trigger the low in the graveyard that you sent off for the Trias to summon back low, and then you get the trap card. So... Um, you have this twice, that's two interruptions, three interruptions, four interruptions, and then you get to pop two cards with the trap card. I also feel like, um, it's really crazy because if your opponent has Dark Roller or Droplet, so say they go stand my phase, my phase one, activate Dark Roller, that's fine because you could still activate this, send it back to your hand for cost, and then use the Trias, untargeting pop a card, trigger the blessings, then the Trias summon back this, and now it's obviously not Dark Ruler anymore. You get to trigger the low from the graveyard, summon it back, and activate the trap card. So through Dark Ruler or Droplet, this combo is going to be a three interruption still, um, which is really strong. And it's a, a grave interruption, a field interruption, and a back row interruption, um, or three from field, um, one at a different time. 
if they don't have Dark Roller Droplet. So if they don't have Dark Roller Droplet, this is five interruptions here. And if they do have Dark Roller or Droplet, you still have three interruptions. So um, it's just one of the uh, one of the standard combos that I generally tend to look for. A lot of the times if you open tries, you can still do something similar with this. Like use one of the lows and then get the trap involved sooner. The trap on your turn. Shuffle back like the Ritual Spell and get a second copy of low. Just so you can layer your disruptions better. So that you have like interruptions from the back row, interruptions from the graveyard, multiple interruptions from the field. And uh, I think it's a better way to just like layer your interruptions. And I, I don't really see people oftentimes using this uh, using this combo in the Boys' Voice deck. So I just wanted to pop in, share that with you guys. Like I said, if you guys like this content, please be sure to like, subscribe. Uh, drop a comment below on what you guys want to see next. I'm trying to get more consistent with uh, dropping the videos, but I've been streaming seven days a week. Um, usually 6 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern, and then uh, super long in the weekends. Um, most of uh, most of the day every weekend day so i've been uh been streaming check out that content if you guys want to see the centurion deck that i've been cooking um it's way different than the one that pack topped with uh last weekend but i think it's it's super guess it's super good and uh yeah let me know if you guys want uh if you guys want updated voices voice uh profiles let me know and uh yeah i appreciate everybody's continued support and we'll see you in the next one